All right, let's talk real quick about arena defense. So, as you may know, every time somebody asks me about this on stream or in a video or whatever, uh, I don't have an answer on what's the best defense. I would say some combo of Magneto or Jugs. You have to have Ultron and Phoenix. Those are definitely the two most difficult characters to fight. Captain Marvel's kind of up there, but you really need some more red stars on her than what I have. I only have three, uh, so she's a three red, six gold. And, but she's good. I don't know. I've been running this for defense just for fun. Um, trying to change it up a little bit, but honestly, like people still beat me. Um, there's just no good answer as to what the best uh, arena defense is because there isn't one. Uh, anybody with similar power characters and the same sort of lineup is going to be able to beat you. So one thing that's been interesting that we've been doing in our shard lately is whoever's in first place, if you are at payout, and even if you're not first place, maybe you're just high up in the ranks, you know you're likely going to be hit at the buzzer, right? You're going to be knocked down a peg at the uh, payout timer. And so one of the things that you can do to kind of throw a wrench in the enemy's plans is to run a dodge revive team. So at five to seven minutes or so before payout, I actually switched to this team of 235k actually, because my I, I did build these guys pretty well. And the reason I do this is because I have three guys who have significant dodge capability. So Vision is 20%, Spider-Man is 20%, and Wasp is 20%. You do need to upgrade them to about level, I think it's 58 or to get their passives up, or 55, something like that, um, to get their passives maxed in order to get that uh, 20%. And Groot has a 20% chance to revive on death. So that's really important. Um, I think it's kind of interesting to run a team like this at payout, but only for that short little seven to 10 minute window. And the reason why is because anybody who's trying to nail that five minute timer, uh, you know, right before uh, payout, they're going to start their match right around five minutes left. They're going to get you down to one character left and they're going to have something ready to go to nail them and kill them. Right. Well, with this team, you have a 20 percent chance of getting a dodge or a revive right at the buzzer. And therefore, they will not be able to nail that that specific, you know, one to two second window right before payout and hit you and knock you back prior to the payout. Now, they'll probably go ahead and attack again just to try to finish it up, in which case you will tumble down the ranks quite a bit. Um, I've fallen, you know, 15 spots doing this from the top five, but I still got my payout in the top five because the person wasn't able to do it at payout time. So this is really important. Um, the way I have this here, these are the best Dodgers that I know of. And then I have one really low tank character who will take a taunt. Now, my goal is for this guy, this uh, little Hydra Armored Guard guy, he's only 10k, so he should get one shot by just about anything they have. Um, but I want him to die, so I stick him in the middle, and I make sure that you know he'll taunt on turn one, so that somebody has to kill him before they can kill the other four guys. There's just no way they're going to kill all four of these dudes before he taunts. So, this actually works pretty well, and it's a nice little mind game to play with them because, you know, it may get you the payout and drop you down. So if you're in first place and you're trying to hold uh, at the buzzer, this is one of the better strategies you can have for arena defense as opposed to trying to, you know, have an Ultron, Phoenix, Colossus, Juggernaut, Magneto combo or whatever you're running, right? So... This is an idea that uh, we've been throwing around. We've seen it in play, and I've actually failed trying to get a buzz out, a buzzer uh, payout timer uh, completion too. It happened to me today, actually. <laughs> I was about two seconds too late because the guy dodged, <laughs> and then uh, he gets knocked back pretty far. But I don't, I, and I end up higher up than I really want to be to finish the uh, day, and I don't even get the credit for it because I actually ended up getting hit as well. So I think I went from like 8 to 5 or something like that, and then I got credit for 12th place in the payout because that person hit me. And that happens a lot. Like it, with this, you're going to get hurt because... Everybody could beat this team easily. You don't even really need a good team. And they might accidentally do it like way too early in the payout. So the the trick is, you know, if you're in first place, you just put this in here and you hope and pray that, you know, you get a 20% dodge chance or revive at the buzzer so that they don't win it. And then if you're punching up, then you need to time that 
last kill within the last two seconds of payout so that you jump forward and slingshot up and the person you're hitting gets knocked back by whoever's hitting you so it just it's a bit of a gamesmanship uh kind of thing going on here where we're just like fighting back and forth every day it's just a huge huge scrub <laughs> like everybody's you know wrestling for for uh for the like whatever position they can get uh but then once you're done you need to switch back and so uh for me i have my my arena defense as well on uh well actually i was changing it up but i have like i have most of it at least <laughs> so i can quickly switch back after payout so i don't get knocked back further uh, but you do need to remember to do that if you don't uh then you're gonna have a really crappy defense up there for a while maybe all, all night if you forget to change it and then you'll get knocked back pretty pretty far so that's just something to do and uh, something fun to try. Uh, I like doing it at payout just because I think it screws with the other guy. The other thing you can do is if you know payout is in six minutes and they're probably queuing you within that window, you can change your defense during that and they might not be prepared for it. So try that out. If you happen to see it pop up in your arena, uh, I do have a solution for that, and that's to use single target DPS characters that have stuns and uh, try to stun the last guy, and then he can't dodge. So that's the trick if you want to beat it, is to make sure that last person either can't dodge, can't revive, or uh, you stun the dodgers. That's that's really the, the deal. So... Um, you know, like when I'm fighting this team, I always kill Groot first, and I hope, you know, four out of five chance that the person's not going to dodge it and I'll kill them on payout, right? So if I can stun them, then I know it's a 100% chance that I'll hit them. So just some things to think about. I think it's pretty cool uh, just to play around with, and it's something different. Uh, you know, right now we're fighting all these kinds of teams, right? Everybody's got all China. Everybody's got Phoenix. There's Captain Marvel. There's Draxes. There's Visions and Magnetos and Juggernauts. That's pretty much the entire arena fight meta right now. Uh, this guy's got a big Ronin. Um, that would be kind of cool. I'm surprised he didn't pair it with like a uh, Magneto, but I'm kind of curious to fight this one just for the fun of it. Um, so let's go ahead and do that just for the heck of it. So this is my uh, arena offense team. I just don't lose with it. So I'm trying to find a team that I can't beat with it. Uh, so we'll see. I haven't tried this one with Thanos and Ronan together. So that's interesting. Uh, Ronan will clear buffs or debuffs on turn one. Thanos will taunt for two turns, which could be annoying. Uh, but my Phoenix ult should be able to clear that. Um, remember, uh, always, always, always disrupt your Ultrons. That is the name of the game today. And then... Uh, we will ability block him and that should seal the win so fairly simple uh tactics here um been using this forever and uh we'll just see how this goes that is a pretty big thanos he's probably let's see what his health is actually always you know some people don't do this but you can check and see like what their health is so it's going to be about probably 20 percent higher than this so it should be around 180k because um, it's not showing Stark Tech, you can see everybody's numbers are down here. Um, so you got to keep that in mind too, that those numbers are not accurate. Because they they patched apparently the Stark Tech applying inadvertently to um, two different uh, areas of the game. And ooh, that offense of Vision removed the taunt from Thanos. That's pretty sweet. Um, we'll just do the basic then and save the all. So they patched that thing with the Stark Tech, the bug, and uh, now we have a new bug where it doesn't display the uh, enemy stats correctly. So, <laughs> picks one and you make two more, you know? That's, uh, that's how it goes sometimes. All right, let's see if we can kill that Thanos. There he goes. Ooh, and I got vision too. Nice. All right, so we'll clear this Ultron, and uh, that's, that's, that's a wrap. That's, that's pretty much game. Yeah. Ronan is slow, so he always gets blinded by a Magneto. Uh, we'll save her ult because we don't need it. And we'll probably kill this Phoenix here. Now we have Dark Phoenix to deal with. Not a big deal. Uh, we got our own shortly. Oh, and then it's lows. Ultron minions are just so incredibly powerful. So, Alright, so we're going to exit out of this because I do not want to win this fight. Uh, I like sniping top 5 at payout as opposed to sitting in top five or top two or something remember if you're 
second or third place or whatever, uh, you only have one or two people to fight. And so if they're already engaged, you're stuck and you can't even move up. And you're just at the mercy of whoever's hitting you from behind. So for me, I like to be around, you know, four to or three to five. At, uh, well, probably four to five is my favorite spot because it guarantees I have more targets in front of me at payout. So that's another strategy just to think about is like, what can you hit? And there's certain people in my shard that I know are always hitting at payout. And so I kind of keep track of them. Guys like Wolf Tech, um, let's see, Gator, Killmonger. Um, let's see, where is that one dude? Yeah, Spanko. Oh, he got knocked back far today. Spanko's always really active. Uh, that JLAP guy has been really active too uh, lately. Some of these guys, uh, these guys generally just sit up here at the top. So they're, they're not too uh, big of a deal. Wow, that guy's font is huge. Whew. Goes with his big fat face. <laughs> but anyway, um, so there's certain people that you can kind of just watch and know. Like nine times out of ten, they're going to be attacking at payout. So if you get behind one of them, you can you know slingshot off of them if you can time that uh, payout kill right at the the buzzer. So another thing to mention, I don't know if everybody knows this, but the way that the timer works and when you get your reward, it's when the enemy the last enemy dies is when the match ends. So it's not when you click continue, it's not when it says victory, it's when you kill the final enemy, not like anything else. So if you have a really long animation, like I've done this before with Juggernaut as my last attack, and he just started punching the guy for like five seconds, and I missed my payout timer once because of this, but his animation was just pummeling a dude in the ground, it took five seconds. But the person doesn't actually die, the enemy, he doesn't die until that animation finishes and that's when your uh placement is uh tracked right so you would if you're moving up from like five to first place right you want to make sure that that guy's dead prior to payout <laughs> so it's also one of those things where you want to make sure you're using characters that don't have long animation so like for instance if i'm killing somebody for final uh attack with ultron I want to use his basic, not his ultimate, because his ultimate takes a sec for it to like do the charge thing, and then the beam blast, and then the dude goes flying, and that takes like three to five seconds, whereas his basic is just zap. There's never an animation with it. It's just shoots, and like one and a half seconds, it's over. Tops. Like, that is the best final kill or his minions the minions are usually pretty quick except for the accelerator he's a little bit slower than the other two um, but just for those kills you want to make sure that you're using somebody that attacks quickly finishes their animation fast and uh, you know completes the activity on time prior to payout so you can kind of gauge it so that's another thing one other last helpful tip if you have a character like a magneto who almost always does an animation on his basic attack when he kills somebody he does that raise up thing with his you know metal balls and then he throws them at the person there's enough time in there for you to initiate that attack for him to raise his arms hit the pause button and sit on that and you know because he's doing that final kill animation that he's actually going to get the kill and finish that guy so you don't even have to worry about the health right if he just throws his ball with his hand out like his palm does this that means he's just doing damage it generally means he's not getting the kill so if he raises his arms up i love using him for this i know that it's like a half second before that thing comes crashing down and kills whoever it is because it's pretty quick animation but if you can pause it when he's in the air doing this it actually won't record the kill until you unpause and he lands the, the metal ball on him and murders him. So that's another thing you can use is if you have certain characters you use a lot, get used to their animations and stuff, you can time those kills faster and hit that payout timer right at the buzzer based on that. So remember just whatever you kill that guy, that's when they're dead. That's, that's when it records you moving up in the ranks. And that's when you want it to be one second really ideally before payout so just some helpful tips on arena stuff in general i don't know uh how much those get publicized and how often people uh talk about that stuff but thought i'd throw that out there and see if you got any questions about it let me know in the comments but otherwise have a good night i'll see you later